breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. It is heartbreaking. We have had um, loss of life all across the state. Truly heartbreaking. Take a look at these images. At least 22 people are now dead across the state of Tennessee after a tornado hit early this morning. These images really are devastating to look at. The wind ripped roofs right off their homes, leaving nothing but a pile of rubble. No doubt this is not the way we're used to seeing the city of Nashville and the other communities really hit hard by this storm. Yeah, tonight at 5 o'clock, our Jenny Runovich has been taking a closer look at the damage, and she starts our team coverage tonight. Jenny? You know, we've of course experienced tornadoes here in Indiana. Just yesterday, the eight-year anniversary of devastation down in Henryville. But take a look at Tennessee. This drone video shows the widespread damage for miles. Homes, businesses, and people now gone. The powerful storm roared into Nashville as many people were sleeping. Strong, severe, and deadly. There was no stopping that. That uh, was just came out of the sky. Power lines down, the guy saying, that building's crushed. The damage tornadoes left behind even more devastating to see in the light of day. Last night was a reminder about how fragile life is. That at any moment, an event can show up and make us all too painfully aware of this. The loss of life is sobering. More than 20 people killed, hundreds more injured. At least 45 buildings collapsed and shredded in the Nashville metro area alone. One tornado on the ground for a full 10 minutes reduced brick to rubble, tore trees from their roots, and flattened houses in an instant. All the roofs had like fallen down and there was just debris everywhere. And there was glass everywhere and um, the water was coming down insane. The popular Germantown neighborhood was severely damaged. This just a mile from downtown Nashville. And a small airport in West Nashville took a direct hit. Planes and equipment grounded and mangled. Tens of thousands are still without power and many are without their homes. The cleanup won't be easy. Crews are even using snow plows to try to remove all the debris. Now, as people mourn lives lost, neighbors who survived are wondering how to rebuild what tornadoes took down in mere moments. President Trump is promising help from the federal government for all of this. He plans to visit Nashville on Friday. I'm Katie Inman in Putnam County, Tennessee, where last night tornadoes and storms ripped through this area. Some homes are completely gone, businesses damaged, and there's debris all along the roadways. The mayor is describing it as a war zone. Now families and crews are picking up the pieces today. The mayor says this is a strong community. Neighbors help neighbors, but it'll take some time to recover. We want to show you what this looked like when those storms rolled through. And we're going to back up radar to 1.30 this morning, Nashville time. Obviously, they were dealing with storms, mm -hmm. but some of our enhanced uh, abilities with the radar to pinpoint where the rotation is. And we can do that with this little circle. That shear marker shows the rotation. Also being detected just to the southwest of that shear marker. One other thing with this intense storm is what you see uh, just southwest of that circle is what we call a debris ball. What is a debris ball? A debris ball is basically that debris being blown up in the air thanks to this tornado. Okay. And so the, the debris ball was visible on radar. What other thing we noticed, Scott, is as we take this radar 3D or three-dimensional, you can see the debris being blown off to the east with this storm. And this is a huge area that you're talking about. It is a huge area. It wasn't just... Uh, developing west of Nashville and then obviously traveled north side and hit the east side of Nashville. But check out all of these communities uh, near and around Nashville from about 1.30 in the morning to 3 a.m. This again is that rotation tracker showing all of the rotation with this tornado and unfortunately uh, a, a lot of damage as we've, as we've seen the pictures. And all of this happening in the middle of the night as people are sleeping. And we know from being in Indiana that is the worst time to have a tornado happen mm. because it leads to the fatalities. But do know, we, when and if we have situations like this, we have this ability to show you mm. to help keep you safe. This really helps, I think, our viewers understand what is happening, certainly in Tennessee, and what possibly could happen here in Indiana. And we've got you covered. All right, Angela, thanks. And we're going to keep you updated on the death toll and all of the damage from this tornado during this newscast tonight and also on our website at WTHR.com.